Hello, this is Professor Sampson, and this topic is from Squire Section 3.1, Least Common Multiple. Now, you should have already looked, watched the video and understand what the least common multiple is and saw the list method where you list out all of the multiples of each number. So, once you learn that that's how you can find it, now I'm going to show you how to work it in the calculator. Okay. It's similar to the GCF. This is exactly like the GCF. So if you know how to do the GCF, you can do the LCM. This problem is asking us to find the LCM of 16 and 18. So they want the LCM of 16 and 18. We're going to do the same thing that we did similar um, in our other in the GCF one. We're going to go to math. Right, just a reminder. Right, you go over to num over to NUM all right and then you go to number 8 or hit number 8 you can scroll down with the arrow keys or you can just hit number 8 okay now you have the LCM there what you're going to do is put in 16 and 18 separate them by a comma so it's going to be 16 comma 18 all right, you're going to separate those two by a comma. So I'm putting 16, comma, which is on top of the 7, if you don't remember, 18, close my parenthesis, hit enter, and then it's going to give me the least common multiple, which is 144. Fairly simple. What that does is keep you from having to list all the multiples of 16 until you really get to 144 and all the multiples of 18 until you get to 144. Let's do a couple more examples. The next example is I have three numbers here that I want to find the least common multiple of. I'm trying to find the least common multiple of 49, 63, and 21. 49, 63, and 21. Well, the calculator is not going to let you put 49, 63, 21. The calculator can only do two numbers at a time. So you're going to work it as you normally did. You're going to hit math, then you're going to go over to num, and then you're going to go down to number 8, like you did before, and you're going to put in your 49, comma, your 63. All right. Once you do that, it's going to give you some answer. Once you get that answer, the next step is to go back into math. All right, same steps. Over to num. And then number 8 again. And this time, you're going to put in whatever this number is that you got from the first two. So you're going to put in that number, comma, your last number, which in our case is 21. So that number, comma, 21. Okay? So let's see it in action. We're looking for the factors of 49, 63, and 21. All right? So I'm going to go math. I'm going to go over to num, And then I'm going to hit number 8. And I'm going to put in 49, comma, 63. When I do that, I get the number 441. So I'm going to go math over the num and then hit number 8 again. And now I'm going to put in this 441, comma, my third number, which we see up here is 21. Now this final answer is going to be the answer to the LCM, which is 441. All right. So the LCM between 49, 63, and 21 is right, 441. Okay. Let's do another one before we close out this video. This one is 10, 25, and 15, which I'm just going to do on a calculator so you can remember. I'm going to clear my calculator. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is the fir are the first two numbers. Math, go over to num. Hit number 8, and I'm going to do 10, comma, 25. Close that. Hit enter. Once I hit enter, I get 50. And now I'm going to do the same thing over again. I'm going to go to math. I'm going to go over to num. Hit number 8 again. And now I'm going to put in that 50, 
comma my last number, which is 15, because I'm trying to find the LCM between 10, 25, and 15. Close the parenthesis, hit enter, so it's 150. So the LCM between 10, 25, and 15 is 150. Okay, so I hope this helps you find the LCM in your calculator.